you. What is it, Rusty? A telegram. Oh? Oh, it's for your father. I wonder who it's from. It could be something important. Maybe somebody wants to offer him a big contract. Yeah. Well, maybe somebody wants to cancel one. <laughs> maybe they want him to make a movie. Maybe somebody doesn't want him to make a movie. <laughs> Let's hope him to find out. Oh, no, Rusty, I don't think that would be right. I told you it's addressed to your father. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We mustn't open it. Hold it up in front of a strong line. No, Rusty. <laughs> that wouldn't be right. We mustn't show weak characters. Well, I know what. Hold it over a steam kettle. Let it open by itself. Oh, that would be <laughs> just as wrong. Why? Can we help it if we have a steam kettle with a weak character? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, Rusty? We're just going to have to wait until your father wakes up and opens it himself. When is he going to wake up? The suspense is killing me. Well, you just shouldn't be so curious. I don't think he'll sleep much longer, though. I don't know. Daddy does pretty good in the sleep department. <laughs> well, he's entitled to sleep as long as he wants. He works hard and he needs his rest. Yeah, I guess you're right. Me, 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 me. for you, dear. Open it. Well, is that kind of a greeting I should get in the morning? Say good morning. Good morning. Open the telegram. <laughs> good morning, son. Good morning. Open the telegram. <laughs> You're not only the noisiest people in the neighborhood, you're also the nosiest. <laughs> oh, well, isn't this wonderful? Whoever said telegrams bring good news, know what he was talking about. Ah, oh, that's great. What's the word? <laughs> Don't you dare. What's in that telegram? I really shouldn't tell you, but it's too good to keep. Uncle Tanoose is coming. Uncle Tanoose? Yep, today. Oh, boy! You mean you're Uncle Tanoose from Toledo? Yep, the one and the same. The old sturdy cedar of Lebanon himself. Sixty-five years young and as strong as a bull and a heart steeped in the traditions of the old country. Oh, wait I... till you meet him. You'll be crazy about him. I just can't wait to meet him. I don't blame you. Is this your coffee? Mm-hmm. You just lost it. <laughs> you can't figure out why Uncle Tanoose is coming to New York this time of year. Oh, yeah. I was wondering when it was going to happen. Happen? When what was going to happen? The inspection. The inspection? Mm-hmm. I can just see him now. Well, so you done your new wife, huh? <laughs> Let me look on you. you. That's nice looking woman, boy, no? Nice looking woman, boy, yes. <laughs> you mean he's coming here to, to inspect me? Naturally. Naturally? Let me see. Well, he's feeling a little soft for carrying water, <laughs> but he's feeling good for feeling. <laughs> Just a minute. Just a doggone minute. Am I to understand that Uncle Denise is coming here to say whether or not he approves of me? Sweetheart, he's kind of the unofficial head of our family. It's just an old tradition, that's all. Well, I like that. Dear, it's an old custom. Now, nothing to be upset about. I mean, whenever we have a newcomer come into our family, Uncle Tanus comes to look him over. Then he reports back to the tribe. <laughs> and uh, after that, the newcomer's officially admitted. Did he see do that to everybody new? Every man, woman, and child that comes into this family. Did he do it when I was born? Sure, you almost didn't get in. <laughs> At least you made it. I'd better keep my fingers crossed. Wait a minute, Iris. You got nothing to worry about. I guarantee you, the minute he lays eyes on you, he'll give you his traditional stamp of approval. His traditional stamp of approval? What's no. that? Well, honey, if you were a man, he'd give you a cigar. You mean when I was lying in my crib, I smoked a cigar? <laughs> How does he show his approval of women? You'll find out. <laughs> now, Danny, I want to know, 
how does he put his traditional stamp of approval on women? Well, honey, it may seem a little quaint to you, but he pinches them. <laughs> he pinches them? That's right. When a woman has been admitted into this family, honey, she's got a mark to prove it. <laughs> a black and blue one. <laughs> Next breakfast, huh? Rusty, uh, go help uh, the girl set the table. I'll just start the hot cake. Okay. Honey, mm -hmm. sweetie, come here. Do me a favor, will you? Mm -hmm. While Uncle Tanoose is in our house, please do not ask Rusty to do a woman's work, huh? A woman's work? Yeah, like setting the table or drying the dishes, any of this. <laughs> Rusty always helps set the table. I know, but table. not while Uncle Tanoose is in the house, all right? Why? Honey, he's an old country man, and in the old country, men don't do things like that. <laughs> what things do men do in the old country, outside of pinching, that is? <laughs> Look, Clancy, I don't want to start an argument with you. I just want him to like you, that's all. And I'm just trying to give you a few friendly hints on how to accomplish. Well, I know, and I appreciate it. Okay. I better have a fast breakfast, get dressed, and rush down to that bus station to meet him. All right. You better get dressed, too. <laughs> get dressed? I am dressed. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> You're not gonna wear that, are you? Don't you like it? Oh, I, I think it's real nice. Very nice, but it's, uh, well, it's a little uh, sophisticated, honey. I, we should wear something a little more youthful. Youthful? Well, honey, you know how things are in the old country. No, how are things in the old country? <laughs> Look, baby, in the old country, a man marries a girl much younger than himself. It's a nice dress. I'm not saying you're old. <laughs> I just mean, sweetheart, that, well, I mean, you wouldn't want Uncle Tanus to go back home and say to all the family, it's too bad, poor Danielle marry somebody's grandmother. <laughs> we, we, we wouldn't want him to say that now, would we? <laughs> no, poor Danielle, we wouldn't want that. <laughs> so wear something that makes you look a little younger, will you, honey? Of course, I could wear a midi blouse and teeth braces. <laughs> well, you don't have to go that far. <laughs> Oh, and honey. What else is wrong with me? <laughs> Nothing is wrong with you. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. And I love you. And you're just gorgeous as you are. But you see, dear, these fellas and old country people, they have an attitude about their women, you see. And, and you're sweet. You can do no wrong, believe me. <laughs> but while Uncle Tanus is in the house, would you... Uh, Try not to talk too much, huh? <laughs> the luckiest day of my life when I found her. What a wonderful woman she is. Really great. <laughs> you told me that at bus station. I did. Open the door, Diane. Yeah, okay. Well, after all, aren't I? Can't blame you for being excited. She's such a fine woman and a, a great homemaker, a good you mother. You told me that before you say hello, Uncle Tarnos. Open the door. <laughs> Love at first sight. Well, I you saw. told me that all the way home in taxi cab. Yeah, well... $1.75 for it. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door, Daniel. Wait till you see her, Uncle Tarnos. Walla, walla, Daniel, I just think of something. That? I can't see your wife. What do you mean you can't see my wife? Impossible, I see her. What are you talking about? You came all the way from Toledo to see her. What kind of crack is that? How am I going to see it if you don't open the door? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look who's here. Uncle Tano! Hello, Mr. Oh, wow. <laughs> Still like monkey. But Uncle Tano's favorite monkey. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> oh, who is this? Oh, oh no, no, no. Sounds a little bit like my Terry. Even looks a little bit like my Terry. But this can be my Terry. My Terry just little girl. This fine young lady. Very happy make your acquaintance, young lady. Oh, ah, salami Terry. And who is this little one? I'm little. 
Brenda. She's our new sister. Oh, 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 then you must be my new grandniece, huh? Here, turn around. Let me look at you. Oh, you beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, that tickles. Yeah, it's supposed to tickle. <laughs> you I like. Oh, you pinched me. Oh. <laughs> Well, I see you've met your new grandniece. Oh, yeah, she's beautiful, Don, yeah. He passed me. He did? <laughs> well, you're very lucky that he did. Mm -hmm. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, darling. Hello, Adonis. There he is. I'm Mitanus. My wife, Kathy. It's nice meeting you, Uncle Tanus. Like my yes, my wife. Wait till you get to know her, Uncle Tanus. You'll just love her. You told me that hundred times. <laughs> well, isn't she something, huh? Pretty lucky our family to have such a beautiful girl in it, huh? Of course, this dress does nothing for her. It makes her <laughs> old and drab, but she's got a dress. I mean, Tanus makes her look ten years younger like a regular teenager. Beautiful girl, all right. Well, what do you think, huh? She's skinny. <laughs> I don't need it's all right. I mean, Tanush, you're not being fair. You're not giving her a chance. I'm not? No, you're not. No, I don't think you're being a bit fair. I mean, just wait and see. In no time at all, we'll have her fatten up like a prize heifer. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? I said prize, didn't I? <laughs> Honey. Not a word. Not one word. One, two, three, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. Now. How could you walk out an Uncle Tanus like that? How can I do a thing Shh, like that? She's liable to think you got a temper. <laughs> I've got news for you, Danny Boy. For you and your Uncle Tanus, I have got a temper. What's to be sore about? Just because you're skinny? Oh. <laughs> I mean, because he thinks you're skinny. Look, to an old timer like that, a woman isn't a woman unless she outweighs her husband by 20 pounds. And how is she to a young timer like you? To me, you're just right, lover. Just right. Then why didn't you say so? What? Why didn't you say, Uncle Tanus, I don't think she's too skinny. I think she's just right. Instead of we'll fatten her up like a prize heifer. <laughs> we agreed that we wanted him to like you, didn't we? And doesn't it matter whether or not I like him? Well, don't you? No! <laughs> I don't care whether or not he thinks I'm skinny. I care what you think. All day long, ever since you heard he was coming, you've done nothing but find fault with me. With the way I look, the way I dress, the way I talk. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. Oh, come on, Clancy, don't do that. I didn't mean to find fault with you. It's just that, well, he's a great guy, and after all, the way he feels about you is important to me. Well, doesn't it matter about the way we feel about each other? Hey, honey, what kind of question is that? That's the most important thing of all, the way we feel about each other. Look, honey, it's a little hard to explain, but we're a very close family. Even though we're spread out all over the country, Ohio, New York, California, we still feel as close as though we lived in the same house. And whatever happens to one of us happens to all of us. And you happen to me. Fortunately, you happen to me. And I want them to love you as I love you. But believe me, baby, with or without their approval, I want you just as you are. I wouldn't change you not one bit. Sweetheart. Now, why don't you put on that nice green dress? It puffs you out a little bit. <laughs> Sure, things are pretty good now by farm, you know. We got almost as many cows as we got relatives. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember cousin Salim? Mm -hmm. Got married. No. Sure. That old fox got married. He must be 72 years old. <laughs> married very good woman. Oh, that's very good. Little old, maybe, but very good woman. Well, how old is she? 17. <laughs> <laughs> Strong woman. Oh. 
Strong as ox, that woman. <laughs> Looks a little bit like ox, too. <laughs> Not a good thing to have strong women around farm, you know. Especially when mule get sick. <laughs> Kathy's very strong. I know she doesn't look it, but she's very strong. So? Mm hmm You could boo blow. <laughs> I mean, to know she can't pull a plow, she hasn't had any practice. She's real good at the vacuum cleaner and stuff like that. I mean, we live in an apartment. We don't get any practice with a plow. <laughs> Isn't that right, dear? <laughs> well, why don't you pour a little more coffee, honey? <laughs> Enjoy your dinner, Amitanus? Yeah, it was all right. For Abby dies there. <laughs> Kathy! <laughs> Why don't you get some more food for Uncle Tanus, honey? I think he's still hungry. <laughs> Danielle, your new wife, she don't talk much. <laughs> all the time like that? Well, you know how we train our women, Uncle Tanus. <laughs> you said it yourself. You said, show me a woman with ears bigger than mouth and I show you a good wife, right? <laughs> well, that's sure. Kathy to a T. <laughs> it's not good to have women who talk all the time, but it's worse to have women that don't talk nothing. <laughs> not cheerful in house. Oh, Kathy can talk. As a matter of fact, she, she talks very well. Uh, talk for Uncle Tanus. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your visit, Uncle Tanous. Won't you visit us again sometime in the summer and we'll all go for a ride in the country? Or something. <laughs> See that? I told you she can talk. <laughs> you call that talking? <laughs> you remember Shame, cousin Yusuf's wife? There was a woman who was talking. <laughs> but pleasure to listen to her. Yes, Yusuf. Of course, Yusuf. Yusuf, you're absolutely right. Anything to say, Yusuf. That was talker. That was wife. I'm getting pretty sick and tired of this. I don't know what anybody else in this family thinks, but I don't think Uncle Tanus has been acting very nice. Kathy, I, I want to apologize for our uncle. Ever since you came here, you've been picking on Kathy. You don't like this. You don't like that. You don't like anything. Well, I like Kathy just the way she is, and if you don't, well, that's just too darn bad. Daddy, you can go ahead and punish me. You can cut off my allowance or send me to my room, but I'm, I've said it and I'm glad. Daddy, if you're going to punish her, you might as well punish me, too. Because <laughs> I also love Kathy just the way she is, and I think Uncle Tanous has a great big nerve coming here and picking on her. If you don't like my mom, I don't want to be in your family. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your pets back. <laughs> Honey, Tanus, I'm, I'm very much ashamed. Oh, that's all right, Daniel. There's only kids. They don't know what they're talking. I'm not ashamed of the kids. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed because I didn't say what they said before they said it. I mean, I stood around and listened to you criticize my wife all day, and then never once did I say anything in her defense. Look, I mean, I love you very much. I always have, and I always will. But I love my wife more. And I, I, I don't think she's too skinny. And I don't think she's too old. I don't think she talks too much or too little. Matter of fact, I think she's perfect. You want to know the truth? I think I'm the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> What's so funny? All day I wait for you to say, Tonus, you like knock on head? <laughs> <laughs> when you meet me by bus station this morning, first thing you say before you say hello is how wonderful is new wife. And then coming home on taxi cab, more wonderful, you tell me. Coming up in elevator, still more wonderful, more wonderful. Like once, fella tried to sell me cow. In one hour, 17 times, he say, wonderful cow, wonderful. <laughs> ho, ho, I say, Tonus, must be this cow have leaky faucet. <laughs> when man love woman, when she his wife, he should be proud, should stand by wife. And that's why I wait. I wait all day for you to do that. 
And now, when finally you stand by wife and be proud, I say thank you, Daniel, my nephew, for telling your old uncle Tonus keep his big mouth shut. <laughs> oh, Uncle Tanoush, you're wonderful. And you're wonderful too, my new niece. But you skin. <laughs> <laughs> All of my dreams come true And come with me I want you to know I'll be yours alone And I'm in love to stay As we go through the years, day by day. That was nice, Daniel. Mm. No, play a Lebanese song. Eh? <laughs> people that song has beautiful words too what are the words well it's a song about a man who who love a woman very much and they are separated so he climbed to top of hill and he look up at the sky and he sing a song about their love what is he saying I, <laughs> I can't say that in English Daniel uh, tell her, tr translate for her, huh? Through the night, beloved, through the long, endless night, your silhouette hovers over my mind. Oh, that's just beautiful. You mean your father don't sing song like that all the time now? Shame on you, Danya, and you with no wife in house. She's Irish. <laughs> Don't like music? <laughs> of course, they like music, but I mean, she wouldn't dig a Lebanese song. By the way, where is she? Oh, she's in the kitchen making some coffee. Oh? Huh? I go help her, huh? I teach her how to make Turkish coffee. <laughs> oh, I'd love some Turkish coffee. Otherwise, you're gonna get Irish coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, what are the words to the rest of the song? It's pretty deep, honey. I mean, it isn't something you'd find around high school or anything, but um, he says to her, She's far, far away, you know, and he sings to her. And he says, I fear the time and distance between us. But my beloved, I shall be content with the time and patient with the distance, so long as that which troubles my mind troubles yours. Ow! Honey, what's the matter? Danny, I've got news for you. What's the matter? I've just been officially made a member of the family. 